Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we're due for an Isaac run and a 16 win streak that I'm quite proud of. It's uh, it's the light of my life right now. WKRJ3NL0. 3NL0. What does it mean? NL0 what? NL0 wins or NL0 losses? That was a very... Did you see that spirit art pop? That was super weird. <laughs> it was like, there's one. Just kidding. Just, I uh, goofed you. Anyway. Hopefully, uh, here's our ideal situation. You pay out with Poison Touch, I nut up and re-roll you, and you give us an amazing item, and then we cruise to victory. Alright, well, not all dreams can come true right away, but that bad gas pill was an extraordinary coup for us. I kid. I kid. I'm kidding. Uh, how did you guys like the last run? It was pretty much a, a straight shot. I think we take it. My thinking being that the butt bomb pickup is going to give us the bombs, which is going to enable us to have a um, uh, an opportunity to blow up more tinted rocks early, maybe get an early small rock, and that would be worth it. You know, the secret rooms as well, if we can find them efficiently. Um, but yeah, you know, that that's a situation where I'm sure there's probably going to be a little bit of divergence between me and, uh, and some of the other people that are playing the seed, and I'm interested to see how it actually works out. Maybe you re-rolled it into, into 2020, and I'm going to be like, Oh, dang it, I never should have taken butt bombs. Aw, oh, heck. But uh, for now, I'm relatively pleased with this. That's the trinket that we want. We can make a lot of bombs happen as a result of that. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Here? Here? No, 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 I'm fighting you. I'm going to fight you every inch of the way. Oh, I don't like this at all. Um, let's try to hit the one with the big bomb on it. There we go. So we traded two bombs and half a spirit heart for two bombs. I gotta be real with you, I don't think that's the best trade I've ever made in my life. That seemed like a pretty good opportunity to use that bomb. Um, really, the secret room wasn't in that situation or that, that configuration where quite obviously the secret room should be. It's unfortunate to me. I think we're just gonna leave this floor and I gotta admit, it, I played sloppy. It turned out worse than I expected. Um, Never mind, the Magic Mushroom pickup is is extraordinary here. So we're, we got a leg up on the competition, mostly because of that Curse Room Spirit Heart situation. But we would probably be expecting... Ah, this is potentially great. We would probably be expecting the Haunt here, so... We should be aware that that uh, can happen and might be a little risky for us. Got two pots on the one side, only one pot on the other one. I guess they've made some kind of special reinforced pot magic or something like that that protected that one. It's alright. In actuality, I'm not that perturbed that I took butt bombs. Now that I see, or, or remember at least, that we actually have uh, Burnt Penny. Because Burnt Penny plus butt bombs should mean that I get more bombs than you would expect uh, on an average run without butt bombs. So, you know, we can actually use these perhaps offensively. I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that it's super likely right now, but it's, it's at least something that's within the realm of possibility. Already building up a decent stock here. That's eight of them. If we have to, we can. And you know what? I think we've got a pretty good chance to find a secret room right here and save one of our many precious keys, or a few precious keys. We can also access our shop thusly. Two extra cents there, which it, I'm happy for more bombs. This is actually a library. So we got Book of Secrets, shows us the map. Telepathy for Dummies is real bad. Now, we did have a run recently. Oh, thank God. Where we were able to. That's pretty good. Uh, we did have a run recently where we were able to do a bunch of rerolls on our uh, library and turn that into some really good stuff. So I'm hoping to do the same thing here. I'm so I'm. It's it's risky, right? Because you want to save a deal with the devil for the uh, or a, a reroll for the deal with the devil. Sorry. However, I'm not going to do that intentionally. At least I'm hoping we can buy a reroll on our uh, on our shop. We have Curse of the Blind, so a reroll is like a little bit less valuable for a deal with the devil, because we don't know if we're going to be able to... Oh, I took red heart damage! Okay, so there goes our deal with the devil chance, unless we want to take Book of Belial in, but I don't even understand how that works at this point. Um, let's check this out. We do have a, a charge. So you know what? I think I just go back... No, we fight the boss first. It's... It's weird. I really hate that I took red heart damage there. Uh, it, it, it happened so fast, I didn't even know what was going on. The devil card might give us the the deal with or the the book of belial ability we got an actual item here from our crawl space which is incredible it's spoonbender that's amazing 
All of a sudden, I thought this was going to be a nice little casual run, and it's turning out unusual here. Pin fight, also. So we'll use the Devil card in the hopes that it guarantees us to deal with the Devil. Then we'll take the deals with the Devil that, that seem the most sensible for us with Curse of the Blind. And if they're active items, we'll re-roll them. Okay, well, never mind. Safety pin, evil range, shot speed up, it's okay. This allows us to at least get another couple of books out of our rotation. If we're super lucky, we might actually be able to get um, Book of Sin and then use it for a battery. And then re-roll one more time to make future libraries good. But So we got Anarchist Cookbook. Book of Shadows for temporary invincibility. Uh, we could use that to get into the curse room, but I'm just going to go to the curse room. I'm still I'm very happy with the way this run looks right now, even though I fucked up our deal with the devil chance there. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Sister Maggie. Guppy Cerebal. Book of Sin. Oh, there's Book of Sin. I'm still happy with, with everything there, even though all of them were kind of not great. <laughs> <laughs> Cricket's head! Cricket's head! Ah, well, we got money out of it, at least. That's pretty good. Weird setup. I'll give you that. It's a weird setup. But we have taken seven books out of the rotation, so future libraries are extremely useful for us. Let's see if we can find a little bit more HP, because none of those deals with the devil really sold me. Sister Maggie, Book of Sin, and, uh... Who can forget Guppy's Hairball, which actually could be the most valuable for us, but we don't know yet. Okay, that's a big pickup. It's, uh, you know, who dares wins, of course. It's a little bit of a strange one to start out with here, though. That Spoonbender pickup for free is awesome. You know, I still don't like Crawl Space Meta very much. I think it's, I think they're usually overrated. Usually you go down there and it's like, oh, I got it. I looked out oh, with Stompy for 20 minutes and I found the Crawl Space. And then it's like fucking Cursed Skull or something like that. But it worked out nicely for us here. That's the best kind of crawl spaces, man's the man <laughs> and mans and ladies. Uh, and you know, it's the ones you, you don't spend any time looking for and then they provide you with something awesome. Yeah, we'll try this. Stone chests have a tendency to at least have a chance to be great and uh, yeah, you know, truth be told, there's nothing wrong with getting uh, a golden key. We don't have Guppy's tail, but you know, we were unable to open some golden chests on the last floor and that will no longer be the case on this floor. Oh, this guy just stands no chance. That attack fly, man. I haven't gotten a, a, like a vanilla style attack fly in a long whoa, in a long time. I like using it. It's like orbital sacrificial dagger meta, but you don't have to be right up in the enemy's face to do it, which is fantastic. Got these hairball blocking a decent number of these shots fired here. I appreciate it. More bombs is always good. We've already gotten magic mushroom. Uh, so I'm not super excited about trying to, you know, get pills out of the mushrooms, but that's bombs are key, and this one's bad gas. Okay. I don't think we need to get the other bombs or key pill. Um, let's see what's in our shop. Nothing too staggering. We'll probably, uh, I'm, I'm glad we opened it, but we'll probably hold off until, uh, you know, we see if we need another charge. Maybe for a boss room or something like that. That looked like a secret room to me. That's all I'm saying. Alright, let's see what we got going on in here. Polycephalus. Ooh, I botched it a little bit. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Because of Spoonbender, we can stand a little off-center and still have uh, Attack Fly hit and our Tears hit, which is going to allow us to do a lot of damage. Super Bandage, and uh, then another Deal with the Devil. And you know what? I'm totally happy to have a Deal with the Devil that is free for us here. That saves me a lot of heartache. Krampus's head? Yeah. Had a feeling. Hey, we re-rolled it into Dark Bum, which is really, really useful for us here. So we got Dark Bum, decent damage now. All of a sudden, you know, everything's starting to come together on this run. Not a guaranteed win yet, but uh, huge help for sure. Now if we can get some luck upgrades maybe, and uh, what do you think? Secret Room maybe? No Secret Room, but at least I did get the Black Heart out of it. And Bloody Lust is so good. We have basically become, like... More powerful Samson right now because of the magic mush pickup and, you know, all the other accoutrements that we've got with us right now. Uh, if we could get an arcade on the next floor, which seems likely because I'm not going to buy anything else on this floor unless we need another charge, I would totally give up D6 for the IV bag. Not everyone's going to love that decision, maybe, but uh, I think it's a decent one. And a little bit less exciting because we lose the D6, but... Very exciting in that we're going to have the ability to nearly guarantee us good damage, especially if we can get, uh, you know, like a Charm of the Vampire or something. 
for now, though. We'll just be happy to collect on our extra HP. We're only in nine minutes, so whether I want to be ahead of schedule or not, we are ahead of schedule. Boss Rush is potentially on the table, as much as that's going to annoy some people to hear as a result of the fact that we also scummed our way out of Boss Rush on the last run. Hey, man, you know, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I am going to use our bomb. Yeah, I mean, Piggy Bank's okay, but I don't think... Uh, I'm going to buy a Piggy Bank. Because if we get an arcade on the next floor, we could get so many bombs out of this uh, with the Blood Bank. I'm going to use our last bomb to look for the second secret room, maybe another Eternal Heart. Okay, chose correctly. Picked up the cartridge instead, though. Not that good. All right, down to the next floor. Still feeling very good about this run. And I got to admit, already in my head, a little bit strategically looking forward to that random run. Curse of the Blind is always a little scary. <clears throat> not, I, I, like, I'm not wishing this run to be over but I'm thinking okay there's a pretty good chance that this run ends in uh, ends in success so we gotta start thinking about that Lazarus or random run whichever one I choose to do next uh, I am going to go to our boss trap room before I take the opportunity to see what's going on with that item that we got there we got a pretty fly there and thank you dark bum uh, why do this because if it's blood bag I wouldn't be able to go in here and I would like to go in here you know part of the reason for playing that blood bank was to manage to make this work that's not really what I was hoping for there, but that's okay. We get some extra bombs. We got one extra troll bomb, which did not work for us at all, weirdly enough. I thought that maybe butt bombs would still work with it. All right, there we go. We want to get the orbital working properly here. Finish the job. Not so bad. That's big. This is a moment of truth for us. Do we want, or do we get blood bag or IV bag here? IV bag. Am I going to put my money where my mouth is? No. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love Curse of the Blind, for forcing you out of your comfort zone, man. There's another book, although we've already had that book. Um, should have just taken an IV bag, but instead now, uh, we're going to have to deal with Cursed Eye, which I like, but at the same time, you got to admit, this is pretty funny. I was like, ah, it seems like cheaping out on an Isaac run to just go for IV bag, you know? Like, that's not, that's not exciting. You can take that. That's not exciting. That's not cool. And instead, uh, now we find ourselves having to deal with Cursed Eye. But Cursed Eye homing tears, man. Like, it seems okay. Our uh, charge time is good. Admittedly, part of the reason I'm so enthusiastic about our damage right now is because we still have that leftover uh, Bloody Lust damage bonus. And that's going to go away pretty soon, so we got to be careful about that. But, well, not careful. we got to keep that in mind. That's what I should say. That should kill everything. Mmm, close. Two bombs to access that Tinted Rock. I was really hoping for Small Rock, but that's okay. I think we've got it uh, in us right now to still uh, pull together a, a fantastic run here. We got good stats, good abilities. There we go, an HP upgrade. What am I waiting for with Two of Diamonds? Well, something to buy. Because if we don't want to buy anything, we might as well wait to use it. You never know when Two of Diamonds can chain into like a money equals power. And you'd much rather have 99 cents than 50 cents, but... We may or may not uh, manage to make that happen either way. I don't want to act like it's foregone conclusion. Especially as the guy who's always like, Yo, stop talking up Isaac's head. Or Isaac's heart, sorry. Nobody talks up Isaac's head. Stop talking up Isaac's heart. It sucks unless you get blood rights. Or, you know, a very narrow set of items. And then I'm like, well, we should hold off on this on the 1 in 30 chance we get money equals power. D100. Why you gotta do me dirty like this game? Why can't you just give me an easy run? This is like Epic Fetus number one. Oh, Jesus. And Triple Shot, which I did not know in advance. Um, okay. Well, I mean, this is very strong, obviously. But I don't really like it. Which is not as... It's like, it's the opposite of bad. It's just, it's too good and kind of boring as a result. We're also very slow. And, you know, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't love the guillotine, but... This is still, like, a really good run, but I just threw away the run that we had going on. Our, dude, this is crazy, because our technology shots seem extremely potent as well, but... I'm looking forward to re-rolling this. I want to have a cool run. I don't want it to be, like, you know... Just epic fetus and then stomping everything. 
I think the game saw the mom's knife run that we did and was like, you know, this is going to be serious now. Uh, we're just going to reroll ourselves in here. This is what I was looking for. It's like a monstro's lung, piercing shots. There's a tooth shot in there somewhere. I don't know. Proptosis? All right, this is what we're going to roll with now. So thank you, D100. Your services are no longer necessary. I didn't mean to buy that. This is what I was hoping for, actually, was like another card that we can use. Oh, sweet. Chub just likes smoke. I had no idea. All right, so this is going to be our new run. We got Sissy Long Legs. We got what I'm assuming is decent damage. We got Proptosis. We got lots of good stuff there. Let's head down to the next floor. I don't know. This is probably worse than our last run, but it could be better. Uh, the thing that is worse, for sure, is that I have no... Oh, that's really good. <laughs> is that I have no barometer for what our items are. No indication. I could look at the... Uh, item list, but where's the fun in that? And if you're mad at the way that I kind of copped out of using D100, you know, I don't really know what to tell you. I'm not going to use the D100 to roll until I give myself a guaranteed losing run, and then, you know, try to work with that. That's just... Let's see if we have special bombs here. It doesn't look like it. That's just not uh, in the cards for me. If that's what you want to see, I encourage you to find the the YouTuber that does that, or do it for yourself, you know? Either way. I'm not trying to disparage you, I'm just saying... I Just using the D100 in almost a certainly one run was a bit of a risk. If I can use the D100 effectively, I'm gonna take advantage of it, because it, it screws me as often as it helps me. So now, I don't even know if you'd call this an Isaac run anymore. I don't know what you would call it, to be quite frank with you. We already have... Uh, no, we have, like, no mapping. Alright, so we'll buy the map. Seems realistic. Uh, there was a bomb back here. I forgot. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow it up. Ah, oh, we blew it up. It didn't drop any money either. Maybe it didn't blow up our donation machine then. This is definitely one of the better uh, rerolls in recent memory, at least. Two of hearts. Extremely useful, of course. Um, our, our damage is good. Proptosis is huge. Our range is good. Our rate of fire is good, which you don't always get with, uh, with Monstro's Lungs. So we should be really happy about that. And our HP is, like, maximum, right? Is this Steps, steps 1? Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. Maybe not quite as potent against little Gish as I thought it would be, but against individual enemies, we're, we're taking them out no problem. And also, the full suite of uh, Pretty Flies is really helping out. Justice card. Eh, could use a little bit more power against bosses, but... That's okay. Let's see if we get a deal with the Devil. I don't know if we can still apply for them. Apparently not. <laughs> Little Gish is a good pickup, though, and we're going to head down to the next floor because, yes, I may find it within myself to do Boss Rush here. I may not, but I'm interested in the idea of it. I'm intrigued by the idea of it. What's a big pickup for us here? Mulligan. You know, Infestation 2. One of the fastest uh, shortcuts for getting our own damage up is just, uh, you know, expediting the whole damage process to another entity. That's not a great start for that, but hey, we did get some flies out of it. There's a chance to get an arcade here as well. We don't have Bloody Lust anymore, though, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But, I don't think we've had Small Rock. Hard to tell, but... Let's see what our reroll is here. This should be interesting. Or not a reroll, a, a room here. We have 98 bombs. I'm gonna take Flatworm. I like it a lot. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, I should've... <laughs> should've realized that well in advance. But oh well. What the... Oh, creep. Right. Of course. Alright, let's not throw... I, I'll admit that the more you re-roll your runs, you get kind of this, like, dissociative quality going to it where you're like, I don't understand what's happening, you know? And then you're more likely, oh my god, there is a re-roll room, well, a dice room. Um, you're more likely to make mistakes, or I'm more likely to make mistakes as a result of that. I don't want to. So let's just play it cool here. The four room, uh, you know, it probably does not provide us with much benefit. I'm going to blow up this judgment. It could provide us with benefit, but it probably will not. Let's continue working our way up here. We can come back to that if we need it, on the off chance we need it. Blew up the judgment to give us like a, a literal chance of getting a deal with the devil. Something we have not uh, had in quite some time. Definitely against uh, like individual enemies, this is a fantastic run. Oh, give me a teleportation card. I know you have it within yourself to do it. Oh, come on with that horse hockey. Devil card is not a teleport... Excuse me? Was the... Oh, because I blew him up before I killed all the enemies, probably. That's alright. Still easy. 
Devil card's good. Not as good as two of hearts long term, probably. Oh, but that is. Thank you, Dry Baby. Perthro Rune for another reroll. Uh, since we don't have other rerolls, we pretty much have to go with this. And it could be useful in some weird situations, but that's okay. All right, we're at 18 minutes. Not really too nervous about our timeline just yet. Boss room's gonna be one of these ways. Item room's gonna be the other. Should be able to hit up both very easily. I really thought Mom's Eye would shoot like a Monstro's Lung Shot out from behind us, but it only shoots out one bullet? That's a huge disappointment. I might rather have had Bob's Brain, to be honest with you. And that's not... Wait, which one's Mom's Eye, which one's Kane's Eye? That one's Mom's Eye. Kane's Eye is the one that gives you the, the tear effect. Oh, we've already been to our item room, right? This is our shop instead. What do I want from the shop? Um... Hive Mind, Mom's Key, Hive Mind, okay, the Sun card's really good. By the Spirit Heart, keep ourselves alive here. Alright, um, we don't have anything to reroll, so I think we're pretty much good to just go here. Might as well check out our shop, maybe it can guarantee us this uh, Eternal Heart will turn into a full heart. Lucky Rock, it's okay, nothing wrong with it. Now we, let's keep our timer up here. We don't have Curse of the Blind, so we will be able to see if we even want to do Boss Rush. We won't be able to reroll Boss Rush. But we'll be able to see whether or not it's worth doing. We can't teleport out, but with the Sun card, we're not going to die during the fight. That's just like... Like, we'll get to full health on our way out. Okay, Guppy items, maybe? Yeah, that's... It's fine. Tears down sucks real bad. Speed down is also terrible. Um, Alright, let's take a look at Boss Rush. I love sad bombs, but I don't think any of this is quite good enough to justify the amount of time and uh, potentially HP that it's going to cost me to be here. So I'm just going to say no to it for now, but it's it's with a bit of a heavy heart. I would like to uh, I would like to do it. So we're going to go down and to the left. Just wanted to keep that map up temporarily there. Isaac's fork is pretty good with dark bum because we won't want to pick up red hearts. Unfortunately, we've rerolled our dark bum pick up from earlier in the run about seven times by now. How do I feel about this run? It really should be a win. It's not a knockout yet, but it's, uh... I mean, we have Proptosis, Monstro's Lung, Fast Rate of Fire, Sissy Long Legs, uh, Hive Mind. On paper, it probably sounds better than it actually feels. And I gotta stop taking damage. Do we have the Wafer or something? I should really notice that next time I take, uh, damage, but... Uh, it, it's still really good. There's no excuse for a loss here, a, a loss here, sorry, beyond poor play. So, you know, I, now that I've said it, be ready if I do lose, that'll be, uh, that'll be what I'll have to chalk it up to. Thank God we don't have Dark Bum. That room could have actually been useful. And really, this is one of those runs where the, the number one thing to take it to the next level at this point is straight up any thing that makes us better against bosses and I guess on a technical level like everything that makes us better makes us better against bosses but uh, specifically against bosses because right now every room that we go to is easy probably up down and then up into the left um, individual rooms most enemies die in one barrage and it only takes you know half a second to charge up the shot to get to that barrage makes it uh, easy on myself to get through these rooms. But bosses are going to take a little longer. Death was not that big of a challenge, but uh, how are you, like, that green one is dodged like every single shot we've output here. Anyway, if we could get like, uh, a, like a freezing tier effect, I understand that we have slow, oh maybe we have, we do have a ball of tar, I didn't even realize. Did we leave a key? No, we left a heart behind there. Um. Okay. Do we have chocolate milk monstros lung? No, I don't think so. I was trying to see if like the more we used it, the or the longer we charged up a shot, the bigger our shots within the barrage got, but once we get to that point, you know, I just go cross-eyed and I'm like, just just let me shoot the enemies and do my best not to get hit at the same time. Another awesome thing about this run right now is our shot speed. I know there's a secret room back there. Um, we should go to it. Why wasn't I gonna go to it? I, I had too much momentum. Here? Here, we got enough bombs, I don't feel bad about it, but here, like where, we got some optical illusions going on here. Eh, might be worth it. 
probably was not... I mean, it wasn't a bad deal, but it probably wasn't worth it. Uh, there is a mini-boss fight. It could be good, but I'm not overly concerned about it at this point. Other things that would be great, bomb synergies would be, like, super cool. If you wanted to give me some ability to make my own bombs a little bit better, that'd be nice. Uh, I'm actually, in a weird way, hoping that this is not the boss fight up on our top left here. Because if it isn't... Oh, there's no way that's the secret room. Alright, I'm gonna try it. That was decidedly not worth it. We're still at full health, though. I do want to go back for that key. Just a little, little lazy, a little, little rushing, I should say. And again, we got this sun card, so, you know, I like this run a lot. Uh, but even if I didn't, this sun card basically makes it twice as powerful. But you got to extend its time scale a little bit as well. It's not like we're doubling our damage, we're just able to take twice as much damage. It's one way to circumvent the, the HP cap. Okay. This is what I mean by, like, bosses taking us a while here. We're getting into a decent rhythm. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. See, it's like a decent rhythm. I'm not saying it's exactly one second, but, you know, the Mississippi is a standard unit of rhythm. We're doing a pretty good job of it. The more teeth we have, the better. Like, oh, how sweet would it be if we picked up, like, eight luck upgrades and just all of our barrages were exclusively teeth? That would be a lot of fun. Still a fast run, though. 26 minutes, and we're on the cathedral. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I spilled coffee on my desk. Dang it. Uh, this is a bad situation. Because there are two likely areas that the boss will be in. Uh, we could kill Mega Fatty without too much trouble, but if we don't have to, why bother? Oh, that was beautiful. So I'm going to try to go left first. I think left is probably more likely. We'll find out pretty soon. If it's not, then we'll just, uh... Well, not worry about it too much, I guess. What's our card? Yeah, the sun, of course. Very useful. Um, try this on for size. Yeah, double our money. You never know if that's going to work out for us. Uh, we already had Magic Mush, so I don't think we can get it in our pool. There is a Tinted Rock, and it did pay out with two Spirit Hearts. Very exciting. With Curse of the Unknown for the past, like, two floors, I have no idea how much HP we actually have, but we got to be more than our... Like, we have Spirit Hearts, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Not just Red Hearts. And yeah, we could totally make use of that as well. We've already had that, but uh, bosses don't have their items removed from the pool, I think. This is... It's getting to the point where it's unlosable. It's not my favorite kind of unlosable run, because we are... I, you know, Proptosis Monstro's Lung, I don't want to say we're suffering in the DPS department, but it could be a little stronger. We're not we're not too many pieces away from having a, a the, you know, the world's most dangerous jigsaw puzzle, is what I'm trying to say, at least. We will crack into this. Maybe Small Rock, it would help out so much. Alright, well, I mean, the Spirit Heart doesn't hurt either. We actually are the HP cap. That is extremely encouraging. As is the fact that we found our second room right away over here. You would expect that this will probably lead to the boss room then. That is definitely not a guppy item. Can't believe I used one of my 98 bombs to take a look at that. I'm embarrassed. Hanged man. Not really worth anything for us here. Alright, let's do this. In a way, I'm actually a little tempted. Ooh, very dangerous. I'm a little tempted to use our... Uh, sun card early on the chest, just to figure out where the heck we're supposed to go. But, uh, you know, with the map, we've been really making pretty good time. I can't feel too bad about it. Thank you, Dry Baby. Always nice to say thank you when somebody helps you out. Now, we do have Proptosis, so I'm thinking you know, whenever we get the opportunity, if we can get in there and just... Oh, that was really dumb. Hit them, like, right next to them. That's going to help us out more than if we were shooting from afar. That might be part of my damage problem on this run, actually. Uh, is that I have Proptosis, but I'm getting, like, right next to the enemy's face. Or, uh, like, I'm getting as far away from the enemies as possible to deal damage. Still, it gives you a, a nice damage buff, even if you are far away. But, you know, it's better if you're closer. Alright, no curse. No? Eh. Eh. Ah, Okay. The Cricket's Head Pickup is fantastic. Everything else is just kind of eh. I don't think we have a need to use our Sun card right away. 
Eh, it's going to slow us down a little. I don't think we need it right now. And if we don't need to use our Sun card, this run all of a sudden becomes unlosable. Too much damage, too much HP, too much ability to replenish it. Too much luck, apparently. I didn't even realize, but... PhD, followed by Lemon Party. Uh, I mean, there is a use for Lemon Party. We'll just, like... We'll pop that soon. We gotta make sure, probably, we take the Sun card with us if we wanna we do things the right way. Tech 1, it, it's fun, but... Uh, it doesn't make sense to take here. We'll lose some of the efficiency of our other items. Thank you for finally freeing me. There we go. We found a use for Lemon Party. $3 bill could be fun. Two of spades. Why not? I really... I You'll forgive me, hopefully. But I feel pretty proud of the fact that we did take a one run. Reroll the shit out of it. And come out on the other side with a one run. You know, that, that took uh, a little bit of stupidity. And, or, you know, you could call it stupidity or you can call it bravery. Ooh, almost walked into that. Probably still would have been fine. But I'm happy that, you know, I'm, I'm making this streak work without forsaking my... Well, at least my uh, intended kind of absurd nature. It, it feels good, man. I'm assuming our boss room is going to be to the right. But we should do our due diligence and just check down here. And I hope you appreciate it, too. If you're, like, I'm not fishing for sympathy or anything like that here. But if you're a kind of person who's interested in seeing, seeing that stuff, you know, I know people want to see rerolls with the D100 that become absurd and, you know, completely fuck up the run. But at least I gave it a shot, you know? I, I gave it a chance. And I think a lot of people probably would not have even... Oh, we fired, like, exclusively teeth in that one. That's really good. <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of people wouldn't have done that, so I'm I'm happy with myself, man. I love myself today, not like yesterday. I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm gonna be okay. That's uh, that's Biff Naked. She's a Canadian pop punk princess. Um, yeah, okay, let's finish the job here. Obviously, this is already over with. Yo, these fire mind flatworm shots are looking real silly. I think we are going to do a Lazarus run next. Not because I'm scared that we're going to random the Lost or something silly like that, but just because it's been forever. Uh, and I'm going to disrespect the laws of random and just we'll try it out, man. It could be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this run as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.